in Argentina that former One Direction star Liam Payne has been found dead at a hotel in Buenos Aires in Argentina. Uh, it began with a newspaper called La Nación, uh, other outlets now doing this uh, from Argentina. Ex One Direction singer Liam Payne has died. Uh, he, of course, famous for being in The X Factor. He tried, first of all, in 2008. He got quite a long way in that, told he was too young and came back in 2010. Once again, he was eliminated until there was a change of heart from Simon Cowell and the judges, and One Direction was formed, uh, including Harry Styles, as you can see on the left-hand side of your picture there. Liam Payne, at the start, the main singer of One Direction, uh, leading off on many of their songs through that competition, and subsequently, the huge hits they had as uh, one of, if not the most successful, boy bands of the last generation. Uh, he has a son, too, with singer Cheryl Cole, born in March 2017. One of the most unexpected things that's happened so far this year is the death of Liam Payne, something that we didn't expect to see happen because he's just so young at 31 years old. The former One Direction star Liam Payne dies after falling from his third floor hotel room in Argentina. The development comes after his ex fiancee Maya Henry started legal proceedings against him. Henry told lawyers to issue a cease and desist letter after he allegedly kept contacting her and her family. Maya Henry issued a cease and desist last week to Liam Payne following the emergence of a new and concerning information, lawyers told Mail Online in a report that was released yesterday. She has retained attorneys Marco Crawford and Daniel Cerna to represent her, and at this time, this is the only comment on the matter. Henry recently came out with a new novel called Looking Forward, which was about a girl who falls in love with a charming pop star. It's definitely inspired by true events, she said in May. So I've been seeing ones like this everywhere, and honestly, ones that say she needs to keep her uh, his name out of her mouth. She's obsessed, blah, 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 they broke up years ago. Um, well, I made a five second TikTok about something he talked about on a podcast. He was the one airing out everyone's dirty laundry on a podcast. Um, so it's okay for him to talk but the minute I make a five second video, it's over, right? Also, you're calling me obsessed. Oh, she's crazy, this happened when you, um, or with the, someone who's obsessed, blah, 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 blah. Y'all don't even know what happens behind closed doors or in private. Ever since we broke up, he messages me, blow up my phone, mind you, not only from his phone number, he, oh, it's always from different phone numbers too. So I never know where it's going to come from. He'll create new iCloud accounts to iMessage me. It's always a damn new iCloud account. I'm like, every time I see one pop up on my phone, I'm like, here we go again. Also, will email me. And he does this when he gets his phone taken away. Also, not only me, but he'll blow up my mom's phone. Is that normal behavior to you? Is this, but I'm, I'm crazy for making a five second TikTok about something that he brought to the internet and is also messaging my friends not only was he messaging them, I found out later while we were together to cut, so they could go over to his house apparently, um, but then is also was messaging my best friend uh, to come over to his house when his girlfriend was gone, was saying, oh, my girlfriend's gone, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't, he's the one that is constantly doing weird <laughs> And also, might I add, literally said, Oh, the reason I, um, you know, he has all these people on his damn Snapchat, which he has for years, apparently, that he messages or whatever, um, and on Instagram. And he says that he preys on One Direction fans because they will always be loyal to him and they won't tell on him. I mean, up even until my book was coming out, even one of his friends was calling me and my mom being like, Oh, you know, this is, isn't a good time for him. I don't think you should put the book out. You know, he's not doing well. And if something happens to him, not only are you going to blame yourself, but the whole world's going to blame you. And so I was like, just the fact that they just keep trying. I'm like, it's, it is like, like you said, such a low fucking manipulation tactic.
So it seems that his ex-girlfriend or ex-fiance was basically just creeped out at the fact that he kept messaging her and just being manipulative and somewhat kind of crazy towards her. And I mean, she obviously doesn't look like she knew anything else aside from the fact that he was weird. We don't know the exact details of why she's doing the lawsuit or why she's going through it with all of this. She's probably going to get hate because of what's going on because now he ended up dying. They're probably going to blame her and say that it was her fault. But something even crazier than that is the fact that there's alleged photos from his hotel room showing what looks like drugs. Usually foil, I believe you use in heroin. In these pictures, I can't even really tell you exactly what kind of drugs these are. I mean, the powder, you can say it's coke. You could say it's heroin you can say it could be a lot of things but the point is that an article reads that that the officials were responding to an emergency call that cited an aggressive man who could be under the effects of drugs and alcohol so the guy was probably just tripping losing it he was doing drugs he punched everything he went basically wild and ended up for whatever reason jumping out of the hotel room which ended up obviously leaving him where he's at right now but these pictures are crazy if true. He possibly could have been on drugs secretly for many years now. Obviously, we don't know if these allegations are true, but they're kind of coinciding with what this article is saying and what these pictures are depicting. I don't know where they got these pictures from, but the fact that, you know, he had a lawsuit coming out, he was being sued by his ex. It's it's all too crazy, honestly. That's, this is a lot, a lot just went down and hopefully we'll find out what was going on but at the end of the day you know some crazy stuff going on with the one direction people we have yet to see uh the rest of the one direction crew come out and like say anything about it but we do know that they didn't like each other morning everybody here's a little video of me it's rude to put hats on the table sorry is it your hat yeah children it's a lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. We're such losers. <gasps> no. No. Maybe I'm not. When my hair is a bit cool.